Hello and welcome to the first video which will follow my journey in the building of this Ben Buckle Falcon Vintage RC kit. You can see here it's a rather handsome beast, a large model with an 8 foot wingspan and I've actually been putting off starting this project for a number of reasons. Firstly, I've been rather busy in the building of the Svensson Jungmeister. I'm now nearing the end of that process and I'm starting to get itchy to actually decide on my next build and this is it. I've been put off for some time because I was concerned about the sheer amount of covering material that would be required and the cost that that would involve. But if you take a look at this Fencer Jungmeister build, I think I may have hit on a solution for large models. And that is the use of Dressmaker's 100% polyester, which is heat shrinkable. And is also available in a range of colours, which will be useful for this build. But the main reason that I've put off making the start has been the motive power. And if you look here, you can see that originally, as in keeping with the age of the design, it was designed around uh, a spark ignition engine. And as attractive as that might be, I'm put off, firstly because of the availability or lack of in the UK, Secondly, my lack of knowledge about running spark ignition engines. But thirdly, I'm concerned about the noise. Um, to fly this model in its prototypical way, which involves a short power run and a glide down back to earth, I think the noise wouldn't be an issue. But if I want to fly this model around as a radio assist, flying around for a, a much longer period of time, then I think it might just be an issue. And I don't want to cause problems for my fellow modelers. So I've decided on an alternative. And that alternative is going to be a four-stroke engine. Well, this is the engine sitting in a trainer that actually, um, I actually renovated and it became a model that I did a little bit of flying on way back when I first started flying radio control aircraft about two and a half, three years ago. It's actually a 10cc clone four-stroke engine taking its lineage, I would say, from an US design. It's fine and 10cc will provide more than ample power for vintage flying i may fly this model between now and the build being completed i've only flown it about five six times at the most but i now feel that i've eventually made a decision and this is the engine that i'll actually be going with so the first question is where to start and i've decided that i'm actually going to begin the building process starting with the tail feathers. It's nice to start with something a little bit more manageable on a large model, uh, although I say manageable, the this horizontal tail is uh, perhaps bigger than some of the wings that I've built for some models. But it'll be an interesting build because there's a, straight away an issue that I need to resolve. This was originally designed to take rubber bands to fix the tail surfaces in place. Now, I'm not too keen on the idea of rubber bands for the tail surface, but I am keen on the idea of making the tail feathers removable. It would ease storage most certainly, and certainly aid in transportation to the flying field. So I'll take you on that journey with me. I'll explain my thinking for better or for worse and what I eventually decide to do I'll share with you and I hope that you find that uh, a productive process for yourself and I hope that it works out. So if you can get flying please do so, if you can't let's get creative and make some balsa dust. Bye for now. <laughs> 